Hello everyone. Uh, today I have a little quick little um, tutorial, if you will. My daughter is, will be graduated from Georgia Southern on this Friday. Um, those of you who don't know what Georgia Southern is, it's Georgia Southern University in Statesboro, Georgia. And I'm so excited. So I'm doing some little party favors um, for her uh, graduation dinner party. And uh, I did not come up with this idea. Um, I do not remember the young lady's name, but I will link it below so I can give credit to where credit is due. But this is what she made, and I decided to make this as well. It's a Hershey Nugget. So this is what you're going to need, a bag of Hershey Nuggets. Take it out of the bag here. One of these. Okay. You're going to need some black um, car stock, and excuse me, but mine is all cut up because I've been cutting. Um, you're going to need some ribbon, whatever color. Um, it's your choice of color. Okay, some ribbon. Um, you're going to need some tape, double-sided tape, or she used glue dots, but I'm going to, she used tape, double-sided tape as well as glue dots. I'm just using glue, um, uh, the tape and I did have my glue gun but so far I haven't needed it um, and some rhinestones you're gonna need a ruler and you're gonna need uh, some scissors okay so let me show you how I did this and it just looks like a little graduation cap so first of all, I've already cut up some of my papers, but just to let you know what the measurements are, the measurements are, hopefully you can see this, probably can't. Um, the measurements are one, one by one third. My measurements might be off a little bit, because my cutting is not perfect. That's for the banner that goes around the candy. And then for the top of the cap, it should be one and a half. See that? Probably can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it where you guys can actually see it. One and a half. If you can see that. It's one and a half. So... What you're going to do, you're going to take the candy, you're going to put it sideways like this, and then you're going to take, you try to make sure it's centered so it can be even on both sides, because a little bit of the, of the candy on the back will be peeping through, so you want to make sure that it's even. And then you just want to bring this over, oh, I forgot, once you get your placement you're going to want to put a piece of double-sided tape at the bottom just to keep the candy from sliding so this is about where I want the candy to be and I'm just going to flip it over to make sure it's even that's about even so now I have my indentation of my candy. So now I'm just going to take a piece of my double sided tape. Again, the reason why we're taping the candy is to prevent it from sliding. I'll just put it down like this and get your candy. And you want to place your candy right on top just like that okay so next we're going to take a piece of tape and put it on the inside of this side here just like that and then we're going to close that fold that over okay just like that then we're going to take another piece of double double sided tape or if you want to use your glue gun, that's fine, but 
this seems to be working out perfect perfectly put another piece of tape here just like that then you want to fold it over as tightly as you can so so far this is what we have okay so to put the cap on top We're going to get a piece of tape, and what I did, well, no, I didn't. I thought I folded. I didn't fold this part. Just put the piece of tape over the top of the candy, just like this. I'm sorry, you guys. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Just like this. And then you want to get your cap, top of your cap, and place it diagonally on top of the candy and then you want to hold it make sure it's it's sticking okay now you want to take your ribbon whatever color you choose and my first one I cut about one third um, you don't have to measure it if you don't want to. You can just cut it. And then if it's too long, you can cut it again. So I'm just going to cut it here, like slant it. And then I'm going to fold it like this. And then we're going to... Put it on top like this. Okay, now I'm just going to mark if I can find my pencil. Okay, I'm just going to mark in the middle here where I want my tape to be because you're not going to see that little mark. And you probably can't see it there because it's black. So now like I stated before, you can use glue if you want to, hot glue or whatever. I'm going to use my paper, my double-sided tape, and I'm just going to fold it over just so it won't be sticking out. And then I'm simply going to glue it right there and then take my ribbon and simply... Press it down like that. Then we're going to take our rhinestone, one of our rhinestones. And this is self-adhesive. So you don't even need any glue or anything on that one either. And you want to place it on top and press down. Mm, that's not really centered. Hold on. On this one, I think I will use some hot glue. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on this one just to see. Huh, I think I do like to use in the hot glue. And oh, then so I'm gonna cut it. And there you have it. It's just something nice and cute. So you can see it better. So that's pretty much it. And I'm just going to make several of these. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully the lighting was okay. Um, 
I'm going to do a couple more projects and I'll probably also video those. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye. This is Simply Monique.